The primary goal of every story is to elicit emotion. Elicit emotion. Okay. And if it's too stale, let's suppose the writer thinks that there's emotion, that it's going somewhere, but the reader is not getting the emotion that the writer intends. Where's the breakdown there? The, 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 the breakdown is definitely with the writer. Uh -huh. You know, it's not, it's not an audience's or a reader's job to feel something. Hmm. That's something you have to elicit. So it means you haven't created sufficient conflict in your story to elicit emotion, or you haven't created a premise, a concept of a story, you haven't structured it in such a way that that conflict makes any sense, or it can be emotionally involving because you've given the reader nothing to root for, or you haven't created empathy with the hero, or whatever it might be. But it's your job to elicit emotion. The emotion has to come naturally from the reader and audience because of what, they're, what you've done. Um, they have to be participating in the story you've created. That's why, for example, empathy is so important for the hero, for, for you to create for your hero, because a story is a participatory experience for the audience or the listener or the reader. We become that character. We want to experience the emotion as they do. It's not, we don't go to the movies because it's interesting to watch people do things. It's emotional for us to get to do them. We become Jason Bourne. We become Rose as she falls in love with Jack and is on the Titanic. We become um, uh, the woman who, the astronaut who's out in space in gravity. We are a part of it. We're participating in the action and the events of that story. But we have no basis, no way to get into the story if we don't, on a subconscious level, become the hero of that story. And that's what the empathy and identification you create at the beginning is going to do. So if you've created a story with an empathetic hero, so we participate, given them a clear goal, and created enough logical, believable obstacles to overcome, then the emotion will grow organically out of your audience because they're in it and you've created the conflict that will do that. What about the writer that just puts incident after incident of conflict, but then the story just falls flat? What is it missing? Well, it could be missing any number of things, but as I said earlier, to me, all roads lead to the outer motivation. And so if all you're doing is stringing together obstacles to overcome, and there's a very similar mistake, and that is people who think comedy is one funny thing after another happening. That's not what, that's not what a story is. A story is the sequence of events experienced by a hero who's pursuing a very specific goal. So if you're just throwing one obstacle after another, but we don't care about the hero, or the hero, it's not clear why the hero is doing this, or what they're trying to achieve, or if those obstacles are illogical, or if the pace of the story lags, or if everything is at a very high level of emotion and you're not creating sort of peaks and valleys to the emotional level, so you have big moments and quiet moments, and moments of connection and mo moments of separation and so on, there are all those things you've got to do in addition to throwing a bunch of, you know, car chases and fight scenes up on the screen, which many people have tried and those movies don't succeed. If, if it's just car chases and fight scenes, it's just, you know, it's just a series of videos really, but it's not a story or a movie that are people are going to be involved in. So there has to be a resting point. It's, it's, you said peaks and valleys, so at some point it has to kind of drop. Well, it has to alternate, yeah. Alternate. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a resting point as if you stay there forever. But you don't, it, it's like in a comedy, you don't want joke, 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 joke. There's got to be a serious moment or two. And, and look at any great comedy, look at even any decent comedy, and there's going to be something very funny, but then there's going to be something touching or sad or romantic or there's going to be a deeper connection between the characters, or there's going to be something more exciting, or there's going to be something softer. You want to vary the peaks and valleys, the emotional level and, and pitch of the story as we go steadily toward the finish line that the hero is trying to reach. So the obstacles need to get bigger, 
They need to come closer together as it moves forward so the pace will accelerate. But if there's only obstacles one right after the other with no chance to catch our breath, no chance to anticipate what might be coming, no chance to explain what's going on, and no chance to get closer or deeper into the characters, it's going to be a very, very shallow story with very limited emotional involvement or appeal.